and I talk more about this in the report. And it means these industries, you know, we know they are dynamic, they are exciting, they're passion industries, however people describe them. But as we just saw in that film, they are also, because of all these reasons, very, very vulnerable, especially in moments of crisis. And there's really interesting evidence of, say, for example, how, you know, many more, I think it was six times um, the number of women than men left the television industry in the UK as a result of the financial crisis in 2000 and seven and eight. So those kinds of statistics indicate when there is a shock or a crisis, as with the one we are going through now, you know, you really see the rubber hit the road. And it's really when these kinds of inequalities are exposed. When we first started five years ago, there was no evidence of flexible working job shares in the industry. And then just before COVID, COVID there, was there was becoming more. And then post covid this is where we need to keep up the momentum job shares are designed to enable women to come back to work but it's really important that even the on stage or off stage we have the mechanisms in place for that to happen not just for women but also for men it's not about enabling women to do it all it's about enabling men to have equal access to their domestic responsibilities as well. Avec la crise début mars, tout de suite nous les syndicalistes, on a dit au pouvoir public si vous ne faites rien, il va y avoir beaucoup beaucoup de femmes en congé maternité qui n'auront droit à rien parce que normalement enfin c'est que c'est elles n'arriveront pas à travailler assez et je parle des congés maternité mais c'est vrai pour les cancers, c'est vrai pour tout ça. Pour dire que je sais bien que cette question du, du sexisme et du, du patriarcat en général dans nos métiers, elle ne se résume pas à la problématique d'accès au congé maternité, mais en fait, je pense que c'est quand même une question centrale, y compris pour les femmes qui n'ont pas d'enfants ou qui ne souhaitent pas en avoir. Parce qu'en fait, on ne peut pas parler d'égalité entre les genres dans une société où la maternité serait forcément synonyme de précarité, voire de pauvreté, et où vivre sa grossesse dans des conditions dignes serait réservée aux plus riches. Um, so I, re I, I really appreciate the work Marie does because it's really the fight that has to be done. But on the other side, coming to what can we do when we are here is maybe to listen more, distribute power, uh, looking after the quality of life of our employees, men or women, and, um, and maybe admit our fragilities. Uh, which is also a, a kind of a thing that usually people in position of responsibility don't do. But I think that it's, uh, it's something I would like to be able to do. Uh, so to say, I am not knowledgeable in this. I don't know the answer. Let's try to find out something together. Let's listen to someone who knows more than me on that.